Hello, welcome back. Mark here in the big hoop house. Just taking a look at some things this morning as I open it up. You know, as things have vertically kind of slowed down, you see a lot of the dead leaves there, but down here on the ground, a lot of vine action. Instead of growing up, it's coming down. And uh, got a nice butternut there. A couple male flowers right there. So things are still surviving out here. Still got some live vines. Been so darn hot yesterday. It was the hottest, not the hottest day, but hottest day plus smoke. Which just made it super miserable. Got a butternut hiding back there. But uh, still getting a few male flowers. On these butternuts. Nice guy hanging there. Tomatoes are still flowering. Uh, they do get pretty dry up at the top. But we still have a lot that were that were coming along and they just haven't ripened yet. So picking a few tomatoes at a time. What I'm looking for trying to find sugar pumpkin mail to hit this sugar pumpkin female down here. There we go. But it's always the story when you need a male flower, you don't have one. When you got all males, you don't have a female. But I'll keep searching. So we do have this pumpkin finishing up here, starting to turn orange. We fertilized this one yesterday. See the leftovers from the male there. And we hit this gal over here. So hopefully she grows. Looking dead up top. Might have hit this one too. Can't remember. Another one coming. So we're still getting some females off this plant. See back here, there's a female that didn't get pollinated because it died off but really need the plant to kick out a male flower well there's the other pumpkin where's our other one little guy down here so still getting a couple of pumpkins <clears throat> pickles are still thriving or the cucumbers still finding quite a bit of cucumbers I just threw one out to the chickens that something that got into the inside was ripped open maybe it just split but it looked like a some kind of animal got in there but you know, these vines taking off up here I don't know if it's worth you know this guy obviously died trim it back or whatever uh, if it's worth getting like some fish fertilizer out here and hitting them with a quick fertilizer or uh, or if they've just kind of ran their course now I think this is a butternut vine sorry is it back up here butternut vine that comes clear from over there so as the vine upwards has kind of dried out and it's still sending out a very healthy green vine down here along the ground so we're still getting some life out of these uh, pumpkins and butternuts. So we'll continue to to let them produce. Maybe come in here and trim off what uh, appears to be useless, but uh, a lot of male butternut flowers, but no male sugar pumpkin flowers. Bummer. And then vice versa, there's no female butternut but a lot of male male butternut so can't pollinate any females if there is no females 
epic battle here in the big hoop house. Still getting, as you look down there, you see some orange on the tomatoes. So still getting some tomatoes. Bring in a handful every day, and then, you know, which paces. Put them in the salads and things. Uh, here's a female zucchini right there. See the ants in there? Another pest. Earwigs or ants. I like to hide in here. Here's a male flower. Let's do this right now. So we take our male. Back up on my knee here. And I just hold the petals out of the way. Exposing that little male pollen stem. And you take the stem right in here and get that on the field. Just like that, pollen's gone. But we have fertilized that female zook just like we did the butternuts, just like we did the sugar pumpkins back in spring. It's the same process. Same process, get that pollen on the fruit. As I check for, there's another female there. Got a male flower up here. Come on. Let's sit you down one more time. Oh, here we go. Same thing. Expose that pollinator. Get in here. And fertilize that female. Another fruit on the way. I think I see maybe another female. The males like to shoot up a little higher like this so you you see on the plant as you're looking you see a flower up higher up by the leaves here and chances are that's a male flower which it is but the fruit down here as you see at the bottom there and that guy and down there at the bottom kind of hard to see there's a fruit there with the flower coming up so closer to the base we take a look in there that's a female so again get this male off I'm gonna pause you okay we're back in action that male didn't want to come off as easy strong plants strong plants but we get in here I'm not worried if there's an ant in there whoops Kind of watch what I'm doing, the camera drifted. I get that pollen in there on the female. See that bright orange pollen in there now? And there's another female. Fertilized. So that's three, which is awesome. That's three more zooks on their way. On their way to a delicious, already fertilized one down there. But on their way to delicious food to feed the family or the neighbors. Got a zook there. Got a nice zook right here. So we already got two. There's a third one. Give him time to grow. Four or five right here. So almost half a dozen on the way. And we just fertilized three more. So stuff's still kicking butt out here. Uh, that big strawberry plant uh, we sent back with her dad. He had brought it in. Uh, he moved, moved locations uh, from one spot to another. 
so he brought us over some plants but we were able to take those runners off transplant them into these buckets and then he took the mother plant back but look we got two strawberry bucket starts uh, out of that plant and so with his you know that makes three so propagated those uh, strawberries and uh, something else we started uh, a few weeks ago probably about a month now but this is that uh, purple basil which is looking great looking great little delicate flowers on there but kind of fun it was something you know we got some other basil growing behind me here but uh, kind of fun to do a different variety get a purple basil in here but there's some green basil there and some basil down here mixed in with the tomatoes I think that's a little bit of thyme or something like that uh, so we did some different things mixed in underneath where we got gaps if you haven't seen the older videos but uh, you're tuning in now but uh, mix in some herbs where you got some space underneath your plants that's the nice thing about vertical growing get those plants to go up you trim trim the bottom of the tomato plants but then you can have stuff underneath them like basil and thyme and some different herbs and uh, that's about it for uh, for today's video thanks for watching come back again soon leave a thumbs up love the comments let me know how your garden's doing how this heat's been how you guys are surviving the smoke be safe out there and uh, yeah See you on the next video.